not cut, torn, or frayed. It latches, unlatches, and it retracts. My city horn and country horn, they both work properly. My side windows and my windshield are not chipped, cracked, or broken. They're free of illegal stickers, free of debris. They're secure. My windshield is free of debris as well. All six of my mirrors are not chipped, cracked, or broken. They're clean, and they're adjusted for me. I will now perform a safe start. I will check to make sure both my parking brakes are set. My gear shift is in neutral and is working properly. I will fully depress the clutch. I will turn the key to the on position. At that time, my ABS light should come on and go off. My ABS light came on and went off. It is working properly. Now I will start the vehicle. At that time, my oil pressure gauge should rise within five seconds. If it does not rise within five seconds, I will immediately shut the vehicle off. My oil pressure gauge did rise within five seconds. It is working properly. My temperature gauge is operating at around 150 degrees. My fuel gauge is showing fuel at just below half. My DEF has four bars. My primary and secondary air gauges are both operating between 100 and 125 PSI. My right turn signal indicator is working properly. My left turn signal indicator is working properly. My high beam indicator is working properly. And my four way flasher indicator is working properly. I have spare fuses and circuit breakers in their box. My defroster is working properly. And my heater is working properly. My windshield wipers and washer fluid is working properly. The windshield wipers are not cut, torn, or frayed, and they fit against the windshield like they should. I will now perform a tug test on my trailer. I will now perform a tug test on my tractor. I will now perform a service brake test. My steering wheel did not pull to the left or to the right. My service brakes are working properly. Now, I'm going to deviate a little bit and just back it up so you guys can hear me. Now, because my air pressure is not operating above 100 PSI, I'll sit here for a minute and let my pressure build up. We do not do our air leakage test if we're below 100 PSI. See how it's building up? Now it's operating above 100. Now I can go ahead and start my air leakage test. Before you start your air leakage test, drop it down to the low gear. That's why you do your, uh, normally I put it in low gear when I do my um, ser service brake test, all right? Shut the vehicle off, take your foot off the clutch, turn it back to the on position. With both brakes released, I should lose no more than 3 PSI in one minute. I will now apply 90 pounds of pressure to the service brake. At that time, I should lose no more than 4 PSI in one minute. Would you like for me to wait, Mr. Examiner? No. I did not lose no more than 4 PSI in one minute. I will continue to fan the brakes down at around 55 PSI, my low air alarm buzzer should come on. My low air alarm buzzer did come on. It is working properly. I will continue to fan the brakes down at around zero to 44 PSI. Both my service brakes should pop out. Both my service brakes did pop out, and that concludes my air leakage test. Mr. Examiner, would you please step to the front 
right corner of my vehicle so I can check my clearance lights, my headlights, my left turn signal, my right turn signal, my high beam indicator, and my four-way flashers. Could you please step to the rear of my tractor and my trailer so I can check my left turn signal, right turn signal, clearance lights, running lights, and brake lights, and four-way flashers, left turn signal, right turn signal, brake lights, clearance lights, running lights, four-way flashers. Thank you. Shut it off. Back out. Let's finish our pre-trip.